Give me that which I desire. Just when it seemed Freddy was dead and buried, the silver screen psycho sliced and diced his way into theaters for 1988's Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. <laughs> Tuesday night played teenage insomniac Kristen Parker. When the character finally got some shut-eye, Freddy made sure it was lights out for good. Come to daddy. Leave her alone! Before moving to the big screen scariest street, Tuesday got her acting start on television in shows like Fame and General Hospital. But facing off with Freddy was the break she needed. Soon Hollywood came calling. In 1992, she turned her attention to primetime, starring in the short-lived Aaron Spelling series, 2000 Malibu Road. The second I saw you, I felt you and I, or we, just sort of... After just one season, the axe fell, and Tuesday went back to the nightmare of the audition circuit. So where is Tuesday night now? Ready? Okay. Here goes. She's gone glam rock, playing second banana in a popular David Bowie tribute show in L.A. It's called Space Oddity. David Bowie was definitely a fan of it. He would be a fool not to be. Tuesday hasn't given up on acting. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Janelle. Fans can catch her in the independent film Theory of the Leisure Class. Yes. Baby. Mama loves you. I played this part of a woman who is basically accused of murdering her children. I wanted to play something that said, hey, look, I know what I'm doing and I can act. She's also rubbing elbows with Tinseltown's A-list in the Billy Bob Thornton-directed Daddy and Them. It's with Ben Affleck and Billy Bob Thornton. I felt so lucky. I was pinching myself going, should I be in this movie? Because everyone around me is so, you know, huge and so talented. Fifteen years after her on-screen demise, Tuesday hopes to one day get another shot at Freddy. I didn't want to die in the film, of course, but I knew they'd bring me back. <laughs> you always get brought back. Bye. See you in the movies. Welcome to Wonderland, Alice. While Tuesday was easy pickings for Freddy, not every shrieking blonde was such a pushover. Unknown Lisa Wilcox played Alice Johnson, the shy daydreamer turned tough girl who went head to fingers with Freddy and won. Lisa got her start with a bit part in 1984's low-budget cheerleading spoof, Gimme an F. Guest spots on shows like Hardcastle, McCormick and Divorce Court followed before she landed in Elm Street 4. The movie killed the box office, and Lisa's star was on the rise. A year later, she was back, facing off with a razor-fingered nemesis for Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. I know exactly what you're up to. I thought I was up to, uh, people. This time, Alice sent Freddy on a one-way trip back to hell, killing off horror's favorite villain, for a few years anyway. So where is Lisa Wilcox now? Tell right, Lisa speaking. This psycho killer has turned entrepreneur with some help with an old friend from the neighborhood. So come in here for me. I want to show you some stuff. I okay. Did. In 2000, Lisa teamed up with Elm Street co-star Tuesday Night to launch a line of jewelry called Toe Brights. Tuesday had started doing these clear band toe rings and she showed and I was like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. So she said, you know, well, maybe I'll invest in it and we'll do it together and just sort of took off. Love it. Their fun, funky styles are a big hit with the hip Hollywood crowd. We do have a lot of celebrity clients, which is really cool. Jennifer Aniston, she's wearing the uh, gold shell with pearl. Angelina Jolie likes the big, giant chokers. There's Laura Dern. Drew Barrymore. Rosanna Arquette. Kelly Preston. There's so many, um, and we're so fortunate. Come here, let me put this on you. There's a little tiara. It's very cute on Lisa's head. It's such a pleasure to do what I love doing. It's very fun. Lisa hasn't stopped acting. Recently starring the 2002 Oscar-nominated foreign student film, The All-New Adventures of Chastity Blade. Take my hand! A 
was a 30 minute short and I read it, loved it, had to play it. How is your bomb going to explode? You've miscrossed the blue and gray wires. Juggling two careers is tough, but Lisa's most important gig is at home. I am now a mother of two boys. If I get recognized somewhere, they always look at me like, wow, it's true, he, like you really did something on TV or whatever, you know? So it's very charming to see their reaction. That was a workout. <sighs> Lisa hasn't been on Elm Street since 1989, but she's still watching her back just in case nightmare producers come calling again. I've now become obsessed with, they're gonna have to get me into another one, because they're gonna have to kill me, okay? And how am I gonna die?